Hey guys, today on Zulu Tech we're talking about the newest version of Razer Game Booster, uh, which the update uh, just came out this morning, so I installed it, and I was truly astounded uh, at the changes they made. It sits faster, the um, interface is more, uh, uh, I wouldn't say streamlined, but I would say interesting, I guess. Some more options, the program works better, stuff like that. So it's uh, all around, I'd say, a really nice improvement. So when you, uh, if you already have the program, it'll notify you about the update, and you can go ahead and install it. Um, if you don't, there's a link in the description, so you can go ahead and download this great program. And essentially, what it does is it uh, helps boost games by disabling things and programs. Uh, while you don't need them, and then when the game closes out, it returns everything back to the way it was. So, in here you see we can now search for games. So if you have a ton of games in here, you can search for them. You can add games by pushing on this little plus sign here. Choosing from the uh, list right here, or you can click this and browse for it. And another cool feature is any game you have added, you can star, so it'll put it up near the top. And if you click this, you can actually add a picture. So we're going to throw a picture in there. And crop. And update. Now there are a couple other options in here, but they're a bit more advanced. Specifically this one right here. Um, uh, you might want to look up how to do this. Although this uh, option right here is not necessary in any way but if you are a performance freak like me you can use this to uh, run the game at high priority every time you launch it so uh, I need to uh, explain that in a different video when I figure how uh, how I can do that but it'll be good so here we have our other games and when we go over to this and click utilities we have some more options we have the boost options so if you're more advanced, you can take a look at these and customize it a little bit more. You can turn automatic boost on and off. You got some hotkeys here. You can diagnose. This is basically a report of your computer, essentially. As you can see here. You can go to tweak. This is cool. Uh, what you're going to want to do is go to tweak, click on recommended, then click optimize. This will make some registry changes that should make your computer perform faster. So that's something good to do. There's defrag, however, this is unnecessary if you have a solid state drive. And then the drivers, of course, you can check for drivers. And you have a little FPS reader thing you can also in, uh, put in there. There is another thing. Um, see if I can find it in the gallery. Yeah, you can take screenshots and you can also record your screen with this program, which is really nice some more options in here this recent update made a lot of improvements to these screenshot and video capture capabilities so that's pretty much uh... sums up the program and we go over here and we click on the little gear we have some more options but that's uh, pretty much it so this is a a really good program i highly recommend getting it and there is a link in the description of course so if you like this please thumbs up check out the playlist you know subscribe to my channel all that good stuff and we'll see you guys next time.